Hi, it's Lenora, my fit lovelies. I have been meaning to do this video for the longest time. I really want to share with you a personal health issue that I've been struggling with. It's called polycystic ovarian syndrome, also known as PCOS. I want to first state that I am not a doctor. I'm a Malaysian radio announcer, host, and fitness ambassador. Now, the methods I've used to control PCOS is purely based on my body, and I'm learning more every day about it. In this video, I'm gonna be touching on what exactly is PCOS, how has it affected me, and what should you do if you think you have PCOS. PCOS is an abbreviation that stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome. Uh, it usually happens in the female, all right, whereby it is one of the most common female endocrine disorders. What we usually see in them is that ovarian cysts will be observed during an ultrasound process. This cyst will affect how the hormonal cycle uh, within the women can happen, for example, whereby they will interfere with the development and the release of eggs, therefore it will cause a disruption uh, in the ovulation as well as the menses cycle. The symptoms of PCOS um, usually will be the irregular menses that a woman will have, increase in testosterone levels, excess hair growth, as well as insulin resistance. So if a woman were to have insulin resistance, she will then have an increased risk of having diabetes in herself. Majority of the PCOS women are also suffering from weight gain. I was 18 when I first found out that I was bleeding non-stop. It was like four months. Then my mom brought me to a gynecologist and that was when she put me on the, the pill, which I didn't know was the pill at that time. It was Dian 35. And that did stop the bleeding. It regulated my periods, but that was also when I started to bloat up and I put on the weight. So metformin is just one of the drug options. The other option is to go for hormonal therapy, whereby the doctors usually put you on the pill all right, to regulate your uh, hormonal cycle. For example, the production of estrogen and progesterone. So that uh, when you have these two hormones coming in into your body, then your body is able to respond to the cycle normally. So metformin controls insulin production in the body, whereby they help you to regulate the glucose content. Right, so when you regulate glucose, which means you don't store as much and you excrete it off essentially, so they increase the insulin uptake. So it's like a ripple effect whereby you bring insulin down, you will rise luteinizing hormone, you will then increase progesterone or estrogen levels. With estrogen and progesterone, your um, menstrual cycles can regain back to its original nature. So I tried all kinds of silly diets to make sure I could lose the weight. I tried going on the tofu diet. I tried the Atkins diet. I tried the GM diet. I tried starving for a little while. I even tried, I tried being bulimic. That's how desperate I was. Thank goodness I actually made the decision to do this bodybuilding competition because in doing so, I learned more about my body than I ever did in all my life of living. I think the scariest thing for me as I think about it would be actually giving birth. <sighs> PCOS means that you will have difficulty giving birth one day. And as much as I don't think about having a kid, but one day that would be like a nice part to have in my life. So I don't know if I I will actually have problems giving birth one day. So that's the scariest thing for me about PCOS. I never thought about it, but it is. Maybe you can't have a kid. That's kind of scary. PCOS can be treated, but there is no cure. Treatment usually focuses more of controlling the symptoms, for example, diabetes, uh, for, or for that perspective, yes. Or in obesity point of view, whereby you control your diet, you control your weight, therefore you're able to control PCOS. I'm sharing this video because it's so important that all females need to understand more about their body. Because half the time, we take our bodies for granted. You think that it's gonna be fine. I always believe that 
your life has a purpose and if you are sick or you can't do things because of internal issues in your body you have a responsibility of taking care of it and to say one day you want to carry a life in you all the more you should be taking care of that body. It is underreported uh, in Malaysia as well as in the international arena, whereby these PCOS um, rates itself is closely associated to obesity. So as all of us are aware, obesity is in a rise globally as well as in Malaysia uh, ourselves. Um, nobody knows that um, there is a close relationship to it. For any girl who thinks they have PCOS, I want you to first know that you're not alone. There are many women all over the world who are suffering from it. I am still dealing with it and I'm trying to contain it every single day. Because, to be honest, sometimes I don't know if it will come back. I really don't know if it will come back. I really hope for girls to understand that they need to take care of what's going on internally if they have irregular periods that means Mother Nature is telling you your body is unfit, you can't bear a child. Go and find out if you do have PCOS or not. Because in taking care of your body, from the foods you eat to being physically fit, it's not just about PCOS or you looking good anymore. It's about you changing your life. And so that's why I really hope this video has 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 changed your thoughts about how to actually live your lifestyle. It's more than just PCOS.